Welcome back. We are here looking at the US indexes. And uh, well, this was a horrible, horrible week uh, for the US uh, tech sector. So we'll start off by looking at the S&P 500 and then we'll go and look at the Dow Jones. And finally, we'll look at the, uh, the NASDAQ, which basically got a beating on Tuesday and Friday's sessions. Uh, so the S&P 500, if you look what basically happened, we on Friday, on Monday, we had this green, uh, red candlestick, sorry, and then on Tuesday, green, on um, Wednesday, green, and then bank. Well, this was basically expected because um, all of the indexes were way overbought, especially the, um, the NASDAQ. Um, but we did break down and we went all the way down to this uh, white line here, which is the 40 exponential moving average, and then we bounced. And this is a really bullish shine. So uh, for those people that expected this market to completely collapse like we did uh, back in, in, uh, in March, no, this is not a sign of that. If we were to break down, we would it would not look like this not at all it would look something similar to if you go and look at these candlesticks here uh, go and look at those candlesticks uh, way back here we can see that they basically fall and the downward pressure is constant it's not um it would basically fall and then we have a massive pullback and then basically uh, end the session with a massive pullback that is not what, uh, what we saw here at any point. But the only candle that is similar is bound down here. But in this massive fall here, there is massive sell-off all the time. There is no hesitation basically of any pullback or style or anything um, similar to uh, this candlestick here. So um, retail investors probably had their account accounts blown up um this was basically institutional traders selling off and buying at 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 discount that's how this technically works um i did enter the market uh fairly early um i didn't expect it to break uh, the 20 exponential moving average here i didn't expect us to basically bounce from here but on Friday, we did pull back a little bit and then we basically broke down really hard and then we basically went up again. So this is a really good sign. It is a sign that we will go higher. It probably will it'll take some time as we, if you look at the technical indicators, it'll be a choppy next week. We'll be in this area for uh, quite some time uh, uh, getting used to uh, this area here before we basically go higher, retesting these highs of uh, 35.88, and then and go beyond that to uh, to uh, uh, to uh, 3600 and beyond that as well. So the market needed to this needed to have this pullback. We saw it back here, uh, and what basically happens is basically we find some, uh, support, then we go up again down and up and up and up up um, that will happen from time to time every single time the market is overbought we run the risk of having these massive pullbacks so at the moment the rsi is in a downward trajectory the macd is basically crossing the signal line the, uh, the stochastic is basically pointing straight down but the bollinger band we basically almost hit the lower bollinger band and then we uh, bounced again, and we ended up in this, in the, right in the middle of the moving average. So we we'll probably go down a little bit from here before we go up, or just trade sideways, something similar to this, or what we saw here, or uh, what we saw basically in this area here before technically going to hires. So I don't expect us on, on Tuesday to explode to the to dollar highs. Maybe we mail it, but I would be surprised if that were to happen. I I'm, I would guess that it would take a few 
uh, trading days before going to the all-time highs. But we will get there. So if we look at the Dow Jones, uh, very similar to the to the S&P 500, we have this massive sell-off. We did not get to the uh, 20, uh, the uh, 40 exponential moving average, but we did break. Uh, we did pull back, and we basically ended uh, above the uh, 20 exponential moving average. So that is really, really encouraging sign that um, this market is not going to break down. Um, and why should it? It's basically every single time this market gets into trouble, the Federal Reserve steps in and buys up everything. So there is a guarantee on this market as long as the Fed is willing to save this market. This market will not have this enormous crash as it did back in March, February, March. So if you look at the, the technical indicators, we are in downward trajectory. The you know, same goes for the MACD. And the uh, um, stochastic is basically pointing straight downwards. So we may see this uh, uh, the stochastic go down to this uh, level before going up again. That uh, It will take some time, but we will get, we will get there. Oh, sorry. So, looking at the NASDAQ, because most of the action happened here. And this was completely expected. The NASDAQ was way overbought. I was, I've been waiting for this action for several weeks. Uh, so, if you look at, at um, the big tech companies like Apple and Amazon and so on, they've just been going up and up and up and up. And uh, they got to basically ridiculous levels. And... The market needed this pullback. Um, uh, we were trading within, we we have been trading within this channel, and at this point, the down the channel is still intact. We did pierce the channel. We did pierce it. We also pierced the forty exponential moving average. We almost got down to the fifty moving average. But we pull back and we are still within this channel. And as long as that is the case, I don't expect this market to, to break down at any... This was basically just a, a pullback that a market needed. Um, the technical indicators are fairly uh, negative. That means that we either will probably retest this 20 exponential moving average around 11 uh, 11,300 level uh, or we just start trading sideways uh, before we basically go higher from here but as long as this uh, this channel is intact I still expect this market to just continue in, on this road uh, this if anybody entered here was a fantastic buying opportunity uh, Sorry for those that basically bought here and then broke down. Um, my best advice is basically just hang on because this market will continue higher as long as liquidity is basically being pumped into this market. That will still be the case. I entered the market several times at uh, because you never know when it basically will stop. So I expected it to stop around uh, the 20 exponential moving average. I also expected it to stop at 12,000. Uh, so buying basically all the way down to when it basically, that is a good tactic um, to do because you never know when it will bottom. Uh, I did not manage to buy at exactly then at this bottom, uh, but on several locations downwards because I know that this market will go higher and it will probably be my best trade of the, the, for several months now. Um, so this is, for me, um, incredibly exciting. I also bought um, several shares in Apple because Apple just got hammered on Thursday and on Friday. And we may expect, we know that if, if there is a company that will pull back 
from uh, basically increasing price from this pullback, it will be Apple, it will be Amazon, it will be those tech companies where uh, which have uh, finan uh, their finances in place, fantastic products, and so on. So they will just continue growing, and as long as that that is the case, they will pull the Nasdaq with them. However, the technical indicators are fairly negative, so we may see quite a lot of choppiness within this area before we go higher from here. But they'll probably take one week, two weeks, uh, end of the month. I am fairly confident to say that we will have retested these highs and much higher than that as well probably will be at 13,000 uh, by the end of uh, September. So fairly looking forward to that. So uh, you're welcome to support this channel by subscribing. Uh, hope you find this video helpful. Uh, hit the like button and uh, the bell button in order to see our newest video. And um, good luck and uh, hang on there. This is not the end of the world. This market will pull back. This uh, candlestick is really encouraging. Uh, and if, if we were to break uh, much lower from here, we would not see this massive pullback. We would basically end somewhere here and then we'll go much lower like we did uh, back in February, February, March and so on. So, uh, well, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.